up? What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? I am four minutes late. Something was wrong with my other phone. So you guys hang tight while I bring on Facebook. All right, here I go. And there is such a difference in each phone. All right, let me, let me get all fixed up here. What's up, YouTube? What's up? I think I'm five minutes late, but I was working on it. All right, let, let me see if we can, we can get this together here. Hope everyone is enjoying their Saturday. You guys ready for Memorial Day? How many of y'all gonna barbecue? or sleep, or watch movies. Guess what I'm doing. I don't think I'm asleep, but I don't know. I'll be doing something, something, something. I don't think I'm going out, but I will definitely be doing something. All right, with that being said, I had came on and told you guys that I was really, really craving something. I seen this lady and her husband do, let me get it right, birria, birria tacos, and oh my Lord, they drew me in. You know, when you see all this food and this deliciousness, all it is is an enticement. Honestly speaking, they're just enticing you. So they really got me this time. So we're going to do birria tacos. All right, I know some of you have done it. I know some of you have seen it, but I've never eaten it. So I'm going to do video tacos, and hopefully you guys will follow along with me. It's kind of a lengthy recipe, but remember this. With this recipe right here, you can do several dishes, you know? You can do stuffed uh, video baked potatoes. You can do... Uh, noodles in uh, Bidia, you know, Roman noodles in Bidia. Uh, you can put the Bidia in your uh, red beans. So, I mean, it's really versatile, even though, you know, it's kind of a process. So we're gonna do this in a two-part series. So let me uh, get the meat out the way so I can show you guys what I got. Now, I tried to go authentic as possible. I was in the store asking questions, one lady couldn't understand a thing I was saying. She was like, no, 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 no. I got a lady who I was asking about the cheese and I picked up this cheese and she was like, no, no, that's wrong cheese, that's wrong cheese. So I was really trying to get this recipe authentic as possible. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you the meat and then get this out the way. Okay, here, I hope you guys can see this. Here I have two and a half pounds of chuck roast that I just uh, cut into cubes. It doesn't matter because it's gonna cook long anyway. So, you know, it doesn't matter really how you cut it. And then I got some beef short ribs. They say that's very important to put in your video because of the bone in it, which will give it a nice broth. And I got about a pound and a half of the uh, beef ribs, all right? So that's our meat right there. Let me move this to the side. And I was smart this time, you guys, and uh, got my uh, uh, skillet out so you guys can see it because we're gonna have to brown the meat. So I want you guys to see that. And once we brown the meat uh, and put all the ingredients in, I'm gonna cut the live off. Once the meat is done, probably three and a half hours, I'm gonna come back live at five, then we're gonna just go ahead and knock it out of the park. All right, this is real important. Let me show you this first. I didn't have a clue about these peppers. Again, I was in a store and I was a, Asking, you know, questions. Okay, where is these peppers? 
and the lady showed me, and they're called Chile Casa Cabell. Can you guys see that? So it would come in a package like this. You see that? And it's about eight of them. So what we want to do, I left one, but we're going to take the top off, cut them open. You see that? And we're gonna put them uh, in the pot. So let me show you how I did one. Of course, these are kitchen shears, not shears you cut your hair with or, you know, cut other items, strictly for the kitchen. So I'm just gonna cut the tip off. Then I'm gonna, and I mean, it's full of seeds. I want you guys to see this. If I can get my finger in here. I know, when you go live, you're supposed to wait till people come on, but I always say they can go back and see the replay. All right, let me show you the seeds. These are the seeds that will come out of it. And you think that's all of them? That's what I thought? No, it's still stuffed with seeds. So we're gonna take the scissors and we're gonna go down the middle. Okay, you see, there's still seeds in it. So we're just gonna scrape the seeds out That's how we're going to do it. Okay, with that, I have eight of the chila, and I have five of the bay leaves, okay? That's one thing that's going to go into our ingredients. Here, I have a whole garlic clove. I just skinned it, and no need in smashing it up. I have a few tomatoes. I have two carrots, and what the carrots do is give it a balanced taste for the sweetness, you know, because when you put a lot of um, chili powder and cumin, you need something to balance that out. So that is uh, two carrots, just uh, cut up, and a few tomatoes that uh, I wasn't gonna eat, so I just decided to put that in there, all right? Now let me show you the ingredient. Oh, and this is the cheese you need to look for. This cheese right here. This is really good for the video tacos, all right? Hey sis! And let me give you these really wonderful spices, all right? I like mixing my spices up that way I can get an even distribution when I put it on the meat. Well, this is actually going into the pot, but I have chili powder. I have had a hard time finding this. Mexican oregano. So this is what it will look like. And you see where I say Mexican oregano? That's what you look for. So I have the Mexican oregano, I have cumin, and I have salt, and I have three tablespoons of chicken bouillon in this. And you just mix it all together, and it's gonna make a wonderful, wonderful seasoning for the birria. Okay? And here, this is what I have. This is just to season the meat. This is salt, granulated garlic, granulated onion, and that's it. That's what we're going to season the meat with. So let's get started on the meat. And I keep all these covered because when you're dealing with meat, you wanna make sure nothing don't splash over, you know, all that cross contamination. You know how I feel about that, right? All right, so here is the skillet that we're going to do our meat in. Let me just cut it on. And what we're going to do, we're going to sear it. So you kind of want it high. Okay, let me move you guys over here so you can see it. Okay, now I'm gonna take you down, all right? 
Can you see the skillet? All right, this is an electric skillet that I thought uh, you guys should see me searing the meat. So let's get ready and season it. Move all this other stuff. This is gonna be so good with some uh, pineapple lemonade. Oh yeah. Might come back on tomorrow and give you guys a cocktail for Memorial Day. Yeah, we're gonna do a fish bowl cocktail, all right? So you guys make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. All right, let me get the meat. All right, there's the meat. Let's get this hot. And now we're just gonna sprinkle it, you know, no rhyme or reason. Just make sure you uh, get it on there. How many uh, of you guys, your kids are out of school or your kids grown like mine? I'm thinking about doing some child friendly recipes so I can kind of help you guys out, you know, to cook them something ahead of time. But I know a lot of people are still, um, you know, at home working, which I know sometimes, you know, you'd like to get away. Okay. Now I'm just gonna turn this over. Do all this meat and all this seasoning and all this. Um, okay, I'm double dipping in this because I'm not gonna use it again. Please do not get your meat, season it, and you're going back and forth to your meat and seasoning, and then you use it for something else. Please don't do that. Nobody wants a quick trip to the emergency room. Uh, you say it's a stomach virus, but really, you done cross-contaminated, and your system is trying to fight it off. Do this, get that all seasoned up. Got all that goodness on there, you know? Okay, I think my skillet is ready. Remember, we're just going to sear it. We're not trying to uh, cook it, because this is gonna take about three, three and a half hours. That's the reason I came on so early. All right, let's put that in the sink. Okay, here we go. Can you hear it? And make sure you spread it out. We want a nice sear on it. So that means put your uh, Fill it on high. All right. Might have to do this in two batches, but we'll see. I think so. Yep. I'm quite sure we will. All right. Let me uh. Let me take these off and get my little uh kind of thing. And we're going to put them uh, directly in the pot. Now you can use a, um, a Dutch oven, but you need at least a seven quart Dutch oven, which I don't have. I think I have a five quart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it off in this pan. I mean, in this pot right here. Let me show you. See how large that is? I'm going to start it off in here. Then once um, it cooks down, then I'll transfer it to my Dutch oven uh, and put it in the uh, oven. All right. Hope you guys can see the meat. Can you see it? All right. Let me change it to it. Can you see that? We just want a nice serum. Now, why I take my gloves off and I'm handling the meat again? I don't know. Okay, I think I 
if we can get some more. The season smells amazing. Get ready to turn it. And I have the skillet on 400. So I got it as high as it will go. I am cooking Bidia tacos. You know, the one with the melted cheese and you dip it and all of that goodness. So it's Bidia tacos. Hope I'm saying that right. B I R R I A tacos. All right. Get ready to turn it. Now the meat is going to be, I mean, just pork tender, but it's going to take about three hours. So that is the reason I'm going to come back at five. By then, all we have to do is uh, do our uh, corn tortilla, put the cheese, the cilantro, and the uh, white onions in it, and we're good to go. Then I'll show you guys this uh, pineapple lemonade. Okay. I can put more in here. So let's do the uh, beef short meal. Let's put them in there. Get a nice sear on those. See, again, these are the beef short meal. Once you get the sear, take it out. Okay, you see that? We're not trying to cook it, just want to sear on it. See that? You know, there's no, some parts of the skillet are hotter than others. I mean, that's even when you put it on the stove. Okay, so turn this around. Then I can add more, uh, more of the beef to it. Let's get in these hot spots right here. Then let's just add the rest. Have any questions? Please feel free to ask me. This I sure wish I could uh, <laughs> send you some of these. Or bring them on camera. Oh, thought I did. Okay. Tell me to bring you guys on camera. I hope you are. Me and these phones, I tell you. You would think I'd have it down packed by now, huh? All right. Let's check on our meat. Okay, got a sear on that one. Got a sear on this one. Let's get into these hot spots right here. Hey sis, I'll uh, call you later on today. Uh, okay, good. One with the sear. And as I said, we're not trying to cook it because there's no way you could cook it up uh, in this skillet. You know, this length of time. Thank all you guys who have come on, because I know you have a busy service. Some of y'all trying to get your cue going, get your charcoal, get your wood, get your rib. By the way, I don't know where you guys are at, but Market Street, it's called United, United Market or something, but here it's called Market Street. They have the baby back ribs. Buy one, get one free. 
So if you have a United Market or a Market Street, go check them out. Baby back rib, buy one, get one free. So that way you can you get the two packs and you're good to go. So then you got four packs. And if you like me, Kroger has the huge watermelon on sale and I think it's $2.99. I got two of the small ones, and it was extremely, extremely sweet. All right, let's check these out. And here's the sear on the, uh, on the beef wheel. I need to do the back. Did you see that? Can you see that sear? We're almost done with this part. I don't know if you like uh, watching people do meat, but uh, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I fast forward. I just kind of mm -hmm. But if you've never done video tacos, you need to watch it all the way through. Because when you see the end result, the same way they got me craving it, I'm gonna have you guys crazy. You might change your mind about the ribs and say, hey, I want some video tacos. Now roast is high. Oh my God. Roast for $7.99 a pound. And fortunately, I looked in the ad and Kroger had them on sale for $2.99 a pound. When I seen one roast that was almost $30, I was changing my mind about the video tacos. But when I seen the Kroger ad, it was $2.99. Unfortunately, it went off on Tuesday. But you have to watch Kroger. Sometimes they have some, you know, pretty good meat. All right. Now let's take this out. Let's take this out. And let's go to this hot spot. Get that sear on there. Anybody making potato salad? I know it's old school, but I don't think people making tea salad anymore. Tea salad is awesome. <laughs> I wanted to go video on it. I was like, oh, people don't like tea salad. It's really good. You know, if you, if you fix it up right, it's really good. So I guess when I make a tea salad, I'll just make it for myself. I won't do a video, okay? I know the younger generation don't like tea salad, but you know, I definitely do. Uh, I almost got that tea. Now I had four uh, beef short ribs. I put one back because I want to buy the tea. Okay, there's the sear and the beef short here. All right, let's get her in, cut this off. Okay, we can put this over to the side. Here's another deep short rib. Can you see it? Ooh, that's a lot of meat. So I will be doing video everything. Video red beans. Oh, and you can also do video chili. All right, that's the browning of the meat. Let me show you how much is in here. Hold on. Look at this. Can you see that? Okay. That's half a pot of meat. Okay, next, what we're going to do, remember the season I told you about? We're just going to add it in there. Uh, 
okay? Next, we're going to add the carrots, the onion, and the garlic, and the tomatoes. It all goes in. Next, we're going to add the dry chiles and the five, where they at? Eight down here somewhere. And the five bay leaves. See that? All right. Now these are the chiles for the birria tacos. Okay, we're just gonna put that in there. And you see how quick that was? It's the browning of the meat and the cooking of the meat that uh, is time consuming. So what we're going to do now is add six, no, eight cups of water. We're gonna add eight cups of water. We're gonna put this on the stove and we're going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes. After it simmer, there's gonna be some film, you know, that comes up to the top. You wanna just uh, take that off. Then what uh, you're going to do after 30 minutes, you're going to take the chiles out, you're gonna take the onion out, the carrots, and you're going to blend them. And once you blend them, it's gonna give you this vibrant, deep red sauce. Put it back in, put it in the oven, and set it for about three hours. Now what I will do, I'll do a video on once I do the blending of the sauce and stuff so you guys can see it so I won't you know hold you up to come back to see the live I'll just do a quick video and show you okay after 30 minutes this is what it did this is how it looks and that way you guys can just click on the video but let me get the water in now we're going to need did I say seven or eight I'll let you know this is a four uh, cups right here. So I'll see if eight is enough because you want it to cover. All right. So when I come back at five, let's see. This is four cups right here. We're going to need eight. Eight cups of water. And you're going to put a top on it. All right, so again, these are video, video tacos. We're gonna knock this out the park. All right. So I'm about to put this on. You guys see? Okay, I'm gonna put it on. And I will see you guys back at five. I'm doing a short video of you know how I blend everything, but I'll see you guys back at five. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Now you guys gotta come back at five, you know, so I can really entice you and show you how you know it just really comes out. This will be my dinner tonight, tomorrow night. Uh I might stop Monday. Alright you guys. See you in a little bit. God bless you.